Just dreaming. Go along with it. Wake up. Wake up. Grab your brush, put on a little makeup. Hide the scars and fade away the shake-up. Why to leave your keys up on the table? You want to! Why to leave your keys up on the table? You want to! Alice in Terrorland was written and directed by Richard John Taylor and stars Lizzie Willis as Alice, who loses her parents in an unfortunate house fire accident and has to go live with her grandmother, Beth Crimsley, who lives in the deep, deep woods. And Beth, by the way, is played by Rula Lenska. And she's a kindly elderly woman that wants to regale Alice with tales from her past and tell her the stories about how this house has been in the family for generations. And she really wants to hold on to this house. If these walls could talk, boy would they scream. I have no mouth, so I must scream hate. Well, this game is fucked up. That's a deep, deep, deep cut for True Review fans, the True Review YouTube channel. Nevertheless, yes, this is very, very British and turns around the characters of Alice and Beth. And basically, Alice falls ill, perhaps due to grief, perhaps due to something that is so goddamn obvious they might as well have hit you over the goddamn head and shown you a flashcard. Hey, this is what's happening. And Beth basically says, yeah, I'm going to read you from the Alice in Wonderland book. Basically, because you said you saw the movie, you've never actually, you know, read the book. Well, I'm going to talk to you about, well, you have fever dreams and nightmares of the White Rabbit and the Mad Hatter and the Cheshire Cat and... You know, all the other characters, A-E-I-O-U, we don't get any songs, more in the pity, and from there, yeah, nightmares and a very thin, threadbare plot were, look, when I decided to rent this on Amazon for a few bucks, I fully recognized it was just taking the theme of Alice in Wonderland and putting a horror spin on it. That's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, Winnie the Pooh did that last year, there are other... You know, things that have entered the public domain where horror directors are deciding to just put their own spin on it for a low price, shove it out on streaming services, and make that money back. That's not the worst thing. And I will say, while this movie at first tries, it's also barely a movie, it's barely a concept, and ends up just kind of just falling apart very, very quickly. There are a couple halfway decent shots, and you can tell that there is some talent behind the camera, but... The movie itself is not very good. But yes, I did rent this on Amazon because I don't care if a movie is absolute goddamn shit. I'm not going to pirate it. Now, whether I check out anything else in the future with this particular theme is subject to debate. But I'm still not going to pirate movies. Just going to say that right there. <laughs> However, this is not good. And it features slow-mo in a 77-minute long movie. And really just uses the thinnest amount of of Alice in Wonderland characters just sprinkled in while it is very obvious where this whole goddamn thing is going. It is uh, on streaming or on Amazon right now if you want to rent it for a few bucks. I can't necessarily say I recommend this one, even though it's not nearly the worst thing I've seen this year. It's also pretty goddamn... Yeah. It's pretty goddamn silly. Makes me laugh. And also, there are two cats in the movie. The cats are fine. I do want to say that. Getting in the spoilers. Three, two, one. Spoilers. So, yeah, the grandmother is poisoning Alice because she is upset that the money that, you know, was supposed to go to her went to Alice. And she's like, I want the money because it turns out that um, somebody the grandmother was close to basically gambled a whole bunch of money away. And she needs money to save the house and all this stuff that she's been poisoning her. No, really, that, that, that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing right there. She, to back up a little bit, she tells her to not go in the woods. <laughs> um, and there are some decent shots, a few dizzying shots, upside down, you know, ones in spinny deals. And the credits, I think, go on for like three or four minutes. And, yeah, she reads from the book. You must not read from the book. There's piano playing. There's all, There are a lot of, like, shots of the house and creepy, suspenseful music. And, by the way, a 15th century house, you have to pay extra to have the suspenseful music actually played in it, just so you know. A little realtor uh, tip there. And, yeah, she keeps dreaming. She sees a white rabbit. The white rabbit poisoned them with cake, uh, these children with cake, because they were late for a very important date. Again, it's just sprinkling lines in there. <laughs> Nightmares and down with the sickness, fucking it up. Come on, get down with the sickness. And then there's something about um, a walrus, Uku Kachu, who is killing people. Why not? Why the hell wouldn't he be? Grinding uh, women, uh, little girls, to make meat, I guess. And the very smoky caterpillar uh, kind of looked like if um, 
Truman Capote was very, very British. <laughs> Beware of the Red Queen. The grandma's the Red Queen. Duh, obviously. There's a reference to the grandma wanting to play cards earlier. And then she plays cards with her. And basically, Alice switches these cups around with the poison tea. And then the grandmother drinks the poison tea and the grandmother dies. The house burns down. The cats are fine. The cats are fine. And Alice is back in London or somewhere in a UK city. I assume London. I don't know. I don't know anything about uh, London sky or UK skylines. And she's writing poetry. And that's it. That's pretty much it right there. I do want to say there was one shot of a CG, you know, panning through a CGI force that they probably could have left on the goddamn cutting room floor. Yeah, no, I can't really recommend this one, but whatever. It was a few bucks on Amazon. It was just a few bucks. Me and Mel supports filmmakers. I do my part. Shrieking Starship Trooper noises. Yeah, not very good. Very, th uh, very, very, bleh. And not really much of a horror movie. It's like, it's like okay, we knew it was a grandma. And the poster made it seem like Alice is going to go slasher range. She, she didn't. Yeah, F, I'm sorry, it gets an F. Agree, disagree, what I said. Like, share, subscribe, Twitter handle in the description. I'm John Ritlin. I'll see you soon.